ties down for the water. Good afternoon people. It's nearly three o'clock. There's my bushes. There's my pins that go in them. Stand up. Next job to do is to turn this down until it fits in there. So it wants a tiny bit off it. I'll throw that on the floor just for badness. It wants a tiny bit taken off it so that it fits in there so that that hole comes out the right size. Right, so that actually wants to be a bit a bit smaller than it is. But no matter. This morning I've taken my vehicle in for repair and I thought I'd just woo, introduce you to my new transport until my car's fixed. It's the uh, the Cambrai Covers number two service van. So there you go. So I'm just about to check the uh, check the tyre pressures and off we jolly well. It's a bit of a bow out. It's one of those. Uh, it says Mercedes on it, but it's actually. Uh, oh, it comes out. It it, uh, it comes out in Peugeot badges and it comes out in Citroen badges and. All sorts, so there you go. I've had a bit of a tidy up, as you can see, while I was waiting for my brother to appear and take me to Beverly, or pick me up from Beverly. So, onward, let's get some done. Bye now. Oh look, somebody was cleaning up the Newton platform, the Newton Hydra truck, and got completely carried away. Right, this is going to become welding table for that. So I'm going to lift that up on there now. And uh, that looks heavy, doesn't it? It's a bloody easy. Uh, I'm going to lift that up on there now and get it cleaned up and set up ready to weld it, which will be tomorrow because it's 4.50. So I'll bring you back when it's all set up. Back in a minute. And there we are, folks. It's 5.01 and it's tomorrow's job. All set up, cleaned out and ready for welding. With complete with a piece of pipe to keep them both in a straight line. What I shall do is I shall put most of the excess to the outside and then grind it off to suit. But I want a little bit of excess on the inside just so I don't weld over the edge of it. But there she is. All bushed up and ready to weld. That could do with a blob in there as well. That's with using pins that are too bloody small. But it's near enough for agriculture. Right. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow for Tuesday's Fun and Games. Bye now. Throb, throb. In the background, the welder is going. And the reports about this stuff welding well are true. It welds very well indeed. So, gently, gently catching monkey, and I'm going to continue welding around it. Right, I'll bring you back when I've done it. I've, I'm not going to try and show you any arc shots because it takes so long to set up, and I want to get this done. But there you go. It's going very well anyway, I'm very pleased with it. I was nervous about this to say the least, but all the reports on the. Uh, I think it was on. Uh, MIG welding uh, that I saw that somebody said how would you weld one of these and and some guy came back and said I've done a few of them it welds very well don't worry about it well I was worried about it well there's no need I don't think anyway touch wood very quickly my head right on we go there we are folks that's welded really well and the copper pipe is loose and sliding so, I'm very pleased with that. It's also welded up there and it's also welded on the other side. So I'm, very Whoops. I'm very pleased indeed with that. Right, on to those. See you in a minute. Good evening folks. It's five o'clock and 
I'll just show you what I've been doing. We've got two welded up holes with bushes in, which want enlarging slightly. We've got two pad welded pins, which are uh, a good fit in the holes now. And we've got two welded up plates with nicely fitting holes. So we're beginning to get to a position where all this will sit nicely but I've been furiously welding and grinding all day and I forgot to shoot anything. So there you go. But it's it's you can see what I've been doing. Pad welding. You just mount it up like that and you go zig 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 turn. Zig 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 turn. I started doing it by just welding lines down and it's not as good. If you just do a little a little curl or a little cursive C all the way down until you fill up the lower bit and that's what you come out with. These these are near enough. Right? That one wants a bit more on it. I'm gonna put a bit more on that one. But uh, there you go. But the Covmax come up with the and once again I put I put this part in the jaw in the chuck jaws. Put this part in the chuck. Right? Put a tool up close to it and revolved it. Tapped it half of the error. And you can get those very accurate indeed. I'm very pleased with those. But there you go. Right folks. The witching hour has come, it's packing up time. I'll see you tomorrow for Wednesday's fun and games. Oh, Keith's been in for his uh, his first checkup today, and uh, it was cancer, but very early stage, they've removed it all, they're very happy with him, and uh, he's got to go back in about a month and a half's time. Uh, to be looked at again to decide whether they're going to do any more or not whether they're going to uh, do a second biopsy on the worst site and uh, and see if he needs any treatment so chemotherapy is still looks like it may not be necessary but we'll know that in a month and a half's time so there you go right I shall pack up and go home because I live there See you all tomorrow. Bye now. Good morning, people. Here's a very quick one for you. These pins are not very straight and hard to centre because I'm gripping on two damaged surfaces. So how do we centre them? Well, if we, uh, if we turn, put the tool near the end and turn you can see the gap increase or at least I hope you can and decrease take it take it to maximum like that grab a hammer tap it about halfway try it again right there's our maximum I'm going to make a cock, cock up of this now, aren't I? Because you're all watching. Cock it halfway. That looks good. Let's try that. That's near enough for agriculture. There you go. Right. As I said, it's Wednesday. And I'm just working on getting the fits, the fits right on these pins uh, and the plates. So what I've done is I've, uh, I've cleaned those out round. I've cleaned these bushes out round, I've ground them down as much as I, I think is necessary at the moment and we've got one pin that's a perfect fit and I'm just skinnying a bit more off the other pin 
it's a matter of it's a matter of a few thou but you've got to allow some free play on them because these things are not built accurate they're not built you know they're they're, they're a bit rough they're a bit rough they're a bit agricultural so i've got one pin to a perfect fit and i'm working on the other one i'm using this which is a piece of bar piece of round bar with a slot in the end with a piece of emery tape stuck in it because the rotary burr will make you a beautiful not round hole but that rounds it out and works very well so I've just got literally maybe as much as five thou to take off that which is two and a half thou aside so I'll crack on and get it done bye now right there's the uh, there's the one I've done that's finished that's that's the top hole which is where it normally runs and I'm hoping I've got enough free play on there to uh, to get it in so it should be okay unfortunately I've got to assemble the whole thing to see if when the plates are on the tractor there is sufficient space to lift the casting up in between them and put the pins in if not I'll have to grind some more of the bush off but I'm going to crack on now and turn this uh, I'll put those in there I'm going to crack on now and turn this uh, this pin down take a few thou off it alright bye now and there we have it people after laying around on my back on the floor and pushing huge bits of iron up in the air with the jack she fits she's lovely the pins are perfect there's enough room to get the whole pins through the holes and there's no play on it there's no up and down play on it right that is a success that is a success now all I've got to do is check it all off and bloody paint it but never mind never mind it's repaired and it's repaired really well god I'm so pleased with that what I should really say is I'm so pleased that it's done <laughs> alright see you later bye now here we go again folks Wednesday 4.30 and I've been pushing the envelope we've got all the plates coated up We've got all those second coats, they've had two coats and this has had two coats. So there we go, that's ready in, uh, that'll, I don't know if it'll be dry tomorrow, this red lead doesn't go off that quick. Right, I don't know if it'll be dry enough to put a blue on it tomorrow. But uh, that's what I'm going to be going for. What I might do, what I might do is leave it all tomorrow, during the day, and then put the blue on it last thing at night that might be the best way uh, I'll get that done and then what have we left to do the dashboard and the wiring the dashboard and the wiring and we could possibly if I can get set up Oh no, paint filters. My paint filters haven't come yet. I'm going to say I could filter some. I, might, I can maybe blag a couple in drift field. Uh, I can maybe blag a couple in drift off my old mate. I'll see, but I need paint filters to, to spray the blue. But I was just thinking if I could get set up, I could spray the outer side of the bonnet, both halves, the front cowl, which at the moment is hiding under there so it doesn't get red paint on it I could do the front cowl and I could do all these blue as well I think I think maybe I ought to go for getting all the blue paint done before the weekend let's set goals that we can't possibly achieve and then try our hardest to achieve them eh? let's get the bloody thing done it's getting so close now I need to paint those wheels orange of course as well but that's uh, not an out in the summit. They want a couple of coats of orange. Right, that's it for today, folks. 
I'm calling it a draw. My brother's just rung me and told me he's just tested positive for the dreaded COVID disease. So, I was in a van with him on Monday. And I feel a bit snotty, so who knows. Right. God, I've made a mess in here. Let's try to do this up. Have a sweep up, get all this grot off the floor. Right then. See you all tomorrow for Thursday's Fun and Games. Bye now. Good morning, people. Funny thing to say, it's afternoon. Another beautiful sunny day in Langtoft. This is my temporary transport. And here we are. I'm now knocking up for ready for painting all the bits that I've forgotten. Right? I need to go do some more on this because there's some grease spots on it. But I've sorted that out. They all, those two plates went under the coat. That's all had two coats. That's had two coats. That's had one coat. Right, so what I'm working on at the moment is in here. Is in here. Which is the PTO cover. The safety PTO cover, which is just about ready. I've just got some more bits. And I just thought I would tell you about a useful tool. And there it is. It's an old sanding belt off a belt sander with a piece of wood pushed inside it that fits virtually exactly the size of the belt. And that is so useful. You can do all sorts with it. You can get into places like this and like down there that you can't normally get into with a power tool. Right? And it really is useful for sanding difficult shaped things. Right? And when, when it wears out at the ends you can just slide the belt round a bit and get to a new bit of uh, emery tape or whatever you want to call it. Sanding, sanding paper. So, I've just about got that in there. I've got the outside. And uh, I think, I think, that's the last item to paint. Uh, I'm also going to do the, finish this today. I shall finish this today and we'll put that in the pile to paint as well. So that just wants to some slots cutting in it and a few tack welds. Uh, I drew a blank on paint filters this morning but I've got this which is some uh, some fairly fine muslin which will do the job so if I'm pushed and I need some paint filtering I can use that. I'm going to filter the red lead as well because when I cleaned the gun out last night I pulled the little filter out the bottom of the gun and there was loads of bits of grotty paint in it so I'm going to filter the red lead as well. Right, onward. I'll see you in a bit. Fine. Well, folks, I have a confession to make. It's not often I admit defeat, but I'm sure these are made on the press that slams a big die down onto a disc and punches it neatly into a into a little pocket that's been ground exactly the right shape but I'm making a cock up of this and it's not going to be good so what I've decided to do is to spend 20 quid and buy a new one because when I first got this tractor it didn't have one on it and I got in touch with some uh, some Fords and Spares people in Wales who broke tractors and I said, can you send me one of the genuine round top ones? And he said, oh, I've only got one and it's rusty. I said, well, send me it anyway, I'll repair it. All right, he said. So I think he charged me about a five or four or something like that. I think, I think it was eight quid, actually. But I thought, well, that's all right. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll make a new one of those. Except I've probably used metal that's too thick. I think that's the problem. I've used metal that's far too thick and doesn't bend easily. But I'm not going to try it with thinner metal because for 20 quid it's not worth it. Now when I bought this you couldn't get this pattern new you could only get the later pattern. Well now you can get these new as well. So I'm going to send for one because this is just a waste of time. And let's face it at my age time isn't a thing you've got a lot of. Right, okay, I've admitted defeat on that.
I'm going to get on with something else. I'm going to get on and paint these bits. But first, I'm going to order the new one. Okay, bring you back later. Clock, or at least 4.50. Pick those two up, got them painted. Finished cleaning this up, got it painted. I hope it's not... No, it's not stuck. If it sticks, it doesn't matter if it sticks, we'll sort it out. Got those two plates with another coat on them. So that is all, everything, in primer. So tomorrow, probably later, rather than earlier, probably getting on towards five o'clock, which is Friday, isn't it? It's Friday, it's five o'clock and it's not great. So probably tomorrow, we'll see how it goes overnight, we'll see how they dry overnight. If they're reasonably dry, I'll give them a first coat of blue in the morning and a second coat of blue in the evening. And then they're finished. And we can start reassembling it all. Even that bit. I have ordered a new, uh, a new dome top air inlet. Air free cleaner as it's called. And I've just spent the last hour rebuilding my spray gun because it was uh, it had a leak from in here where my thumb is there the uh, back of the jet chamber was leaking and running paint down my hand and I thought well there's got to be an o-ring or something in there in the actual fact there's an adjustable uh, there's a little screw behind all this lot that you tighten up to tighten up the gland and it needed a needed a o-ring in it so I put a new o-ring in it and there it is all serviced and working again. You've got to remember that this is a very this is a very cheap little little spray gun and it sprays beautifully. It really just do a good job. I mean I've got I've got better guns up there but they're not gravity fed so you end up with uh, half an inch of paint in the bottom of your cup that you can't access so it's just wasteful so while that's going well I may as well use it right folks I'll see you all tomorrow and I think the first thing we ought to do tomorrow perhaps after we've painted those with the first coat of blue is have a tidy up because as usual I've been really creative and I've really created a massive mess. This is coming as well. I had a, had a good idea the other day. I thought to myself, I've got lots of this. Well, I've got enough of this. What is this ideal for? This is ideal for making mould boxes or flasks if you want because it's got the lines on there to grip the sand if I use it with that side to the inside so coming up shortly will be some or a mould flask I only want one at the moment to do some copper casting I've got some more bits now I've, I've scrapped those right there'll be enough there to make a flask so that's coming up shortly as is this as I told you, unfortunately, I can't tell you what I'm making. Right, see you all tomorrow. Look at that. Isn't that, isn't that a creative mess? See you all tomorrow. Bye now. Good afternoon, people. It's Friday, and we're set up with auxiliary lighting to do some massive spraying. Right, I think what I'll do is I'll see if I can find somewhere to set you up with the camera so you can watch. If I set you up somewhere, probably up on this shelf here, that's the sort of view you'll get. So I'll see about doing that. In the meantime, my car's finished and ready for collection. There's just one problem. The week before last, I topped the oil up. And when Lee looked under the bonnet, the oil cap had come off. Or, I didn't put it back on, and there's oil all over the place. So I've had to order a new oil cap, 
and I'm going to pick it up on Monday with a new oil cap and a gallon of oil to top it up. So there you go. It never rains but it pours. Right, I'm all set up. Right, I've got everything in a place where I can paint it. I was going to do some outside but there's actually quite a strong cold breeze which by the sound of it has dropped now but I'm going to leave that door open just to let the paint drift outside. I've sheeted Michael's uh, white van up so it doesn't get blue spots all over it and I'm about ready to go for it. So I think we've 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 denibbed everything so I think we're ready to make an absolute balls up of putting the blue on. Yeah that's fine I'm not bothered about that. Bottle cover. Well that's actually no that's behind the that's behind the badge that won't notice. Right spray gun out new painting let's go for it let's go for it. This is the only thing that's in the dark really but I don't let's see what it's like with the door open. That breeze might have dropped now. We get a lot more light with the door open. That, uh... Oh, it's come off, I see. No, I don't like it. Close it again. Right, I'll bring you back later when I'm spraying. Bye now. Right folks, well there we go, I'm very pleased with that first coat. We've got a completely run free finish on everything. And I shall be waiting probably maybe half to three quarters of an hour. There's just a bit of dryness on there, I don't know if you can I don't know if you can see it. But I shall be waiting probably three quarters of an hour to an hour for that to really tack off well and then uh, we shall be uh, putting the second and final coat on so there we go so now whilst that's tacking off I'm going to tidy this bloody mess up okay bye now right folks Friday 4.16 and I've put the second coat on. I didn't think there was any point in showing you it going on because it looked just the same as the first coat, except it's shinier. And I think we've got it there. I think that's it. I think that's it. That looks that looks bloody amazing. When you consider that, that was full of rot holes, that's come out really well. And uh, and that one as well. I'm really pleased with the way the paint's gone. Uh, it's going to look nice. All those bits are done. Those, that bit there that's still got a bit red on doesn't matter because that slides inside one of those pieces, the same as that one does, so they're going to be greased up. But other than that, that's it for this week. We've made arrangements to uh, to pick the car up on Monday after the uh, the new oil cap has come 
I still have to go to the uh, my local motorist discount centre and buy a gallon of oil, which will not be cheap because it's this uh, it's that really expensive thin stuff that wears your engine out. 530 CS LS low saps low ash. So there you go. So I'm going to get a gallon of that and then hope that the cap that comes is the right one. I noticed that the website is charge it will will charge you an extra three pound ninety to have the part checked by an expert in inverted commas to check it's the right part. So I didn't pay for that. So the chances are they're going to send the wrong part just for badness. But who knows? Right. That's it for this week, folks. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for all the comments I got. And please subscribe. Please send me some likes. Please send comments. I love comments. I, I try and answer them all. Some weeks it's a bit hard and some weeks it's dead easy. So send me a comment. Uh, and I'll love you forever. Right. That's all of it. Because there isn't any more. See you all next week. Bye now.